Today, the beanie hat is back on, that can only mean one thing, it's flipping freezing out here. Today, we are gonna be shooting the Sol Nebula and the constellation Cassiopeia. I have my coordinates pre-punched into my phone in the Notes app, and I'm gonna be using that, and I'm just gonna punch it straight in to APT and then plate solve from there. Because if you slow to the rough area of sky you're gonna be imaging in before you start plate solving, it's gonna to equal to a more accurate and a quicker even plate solve. I didn't think I was going to get imaging tonight, to be honest. I'm flipping relieved to say that we are imaging on the Sol Nebula. Clouds rolled in, I had to wait about two hours for them to clear. Guiding went funky, obviously, because the clouds are rolling over my guide stars, so it can't keep like a track. So those of you who use PhD2, it'll be like, star lost, low mass. I'm like, okay. And then finally what held me up was I didn't know if I was on the Sol Nebula or not. Um, I should have trusted my Self. So the graph is currently looking like this. Um, we've got an error of about 1.6, 1.5, which is uh, brilliant considering a month ago I was getting an error of 30. I'm now going to take you into Photoshop um, to show you what a single stack looks like compared to a single sub. So I'm going to take you into Photoshop and show you all of that rather than me just ranting on out here in the dark. Um, I'll see you guys in Photoshop. It is now the next day, I am feeling refreshed, I have rested, I am no longer freezing and I can feel my fingers and I'm going to show you quickly in Photoshop what one sub with the L Enhance looks like compared to a certain amount of subs, so a stack of subs if you like. Now I did only get 30 minutes of data on the Soul Nebula but because I had the L Enhance filter that brought it out even more. So this is the kind of thing we're looking at for a single sub exposure with the L Enhance. So you've got some nice outer details. You can even see some outer nebulosity um, to the top towards the middle, which is really nice and it's what I'm aiming for. So you will be able to see some banding and even some color noise. I think I've removed most of that, but definitely some banding in this image. And that is because there's a very low signal to noise ratio. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean the proportion of noise versus actual data in the image. So in this case, the noise is high and the signal is low. So this is what we're looking for a single and then I've placed it roughly in the same position so you can see an almost exact comparison. This was my final stack. Now this is with editing, with noise reduction, with star reduction, with colour boosting. This was only a stretch and some colour noise reduction so you've got to appreciate that when you're comparing the two but you do get an idea for the outer regions, the amount of detail you're getting in comparison to the two. I still think it's amazing what the L Enhance manages to bring out with one single sub, but overall for 30 minutes of data under wind and partially cloudy skies, I am very happy with this set. I won't be going back to the Sol Nebula this year. I'm looking towards the winter constellations now, if that gives you a hint to what I'm gonna be doing next. Um, and I want to take full advantage of them coming into the sky, but I am going to do the Soul Nebula justice next year, maybe even in monochrome next time. I sort of feel like I've got a routine now outside, so I think I'm confident enough to film probably at the same time as doing plate solving and things like that. So I hope to show you more out in the field stuff in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one, but until then, happy stargazing, stay safe and clear skies.